Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reading King Alice by Matthew Cordell. Snow day. King Alice. Good morning, sir, dad. Ugh. Morning, Alice, said dad. No, King Alice, the first, shouted Alice. You mean queen, asked dad? No, king. Um, king, dad said. What do we do today, dad? Ugh. More snow. Idea, said Alice. Let's make super sparkly strawberry muffins again. Um, Dad said, how about something else? Looks like that was pretty messy before. Idea, said Alice. Let's make you look super duper pretty again. Um, Dad said, how about something else? Idea, said Alice, let's make a book. Um, a book, asked Dad. A book about what, asked Mom. A book about King Alice I and the Royal Brave Knights. King Alice the First and the Royal Brave Knights having breakfast, said Mom. Chapter One One morning, the brave knights ate too much breakfast cereal shaped like dragons. They got lots of milk on their faces. Then King Alice said, You better wipe your faces off with napkins, because she likes everything nice and neat. The End The end? The end. Um, Dad said, rather short, isn't it? Asked Mom. Anything else? Hmm, thought Alice. Idea. She's got lots of ideas. King Alice the First and the Royal Brave Knights Princess Tea Party. Not the end, chapter two. Then it was time for a snack, so King Alice and the knights went to the princess tea party and had chocolate chip cookies and chamomile tea. King Alice yelled, this is some delicious tea. Well, okay, yes, but you have cookie all over your face, said Princess Peanut. Ha ha, oh, what good cookies, said the knights. Night baby burped and said, excuse me. Okay, I'm bored now. I don't want to do the book anymore, Alice decided. But, said Dad, let's play with my kitty babies. Brush, 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 kitty baby. Brush, kitty baby, brush. Idea! Chapter five, Alice announced. What happened to chapters three and four? Dad wondered pointlessly. Chapter 5. Then the pirates came in their big pirate car. Captain Bellyfish walked around and said, I'm the toughest pirate on earth. And the little pirate said, No more cookies? Then you will all eat fish, night princesses, and I won't say please. Walk the plank. But King Alice tooted and it made everyone laugh. They all decided to be friends instead. Lunchtime! There they are eating lunch.
can't I just watch TV now? I'm too tired to create. Alice yawned. Oh, ooh, unicorn party. Stampede. Nay. Oh, look, she ran into her dad down here. Time out. I'm so, 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 so sorry I bonked you with my unicorn, Daddy. You're funny and nice and you draw good and smell good and are, ni are neat and nice. And will you still play with me now, Daddy? Chapter 6. It was time for everyone to just calm down. The fairies came and sprinkled I'm sorry dust on the unicorn that hit the nice man in the tummy. King Alice floated on fairy sprinkles, blowing kisses to make people feel better. They had a tea party with crackers and gummy worms. And Ted. Dinner time! Dinner time, bath time. There they are eating dinner, and then she drew dinner, and now it's time to take a bath. And there you go. She's taking a bath, and her little drawing with all the pirates, and the knights, and King Alice. Chapter 7. Then King Alice said to everybody, Now would you like to come for a sleepover at my house? The fairies sang happy birthday to help them fall asleep. Captain Bellyfish said, I'm still the toughest pirate on earth. Yawn. Snore. The end. They all fell asleep. Ah. <sighs> I love snow days. Good night, kitty babies, said Alice. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetheart, said Dad. Idea. Tomorrow, Alice said. Her dad looks kind of scared. Let's make a sequel. Um, Dad said. The end. Thanks for listening.